For generations, Sprite has been the default choice for caravanners seeking their first tourer. But the Swift Group's entry-level range isn't simply about bargain two berths. It's an eight-model line, and it includes a couple of twin axles too, the Quattro FB and this, the Quattro EW. Now, anyone familiar with the Sprite range will notice the big change for 2016. There's a fashionable triple window replacing the single pane unit that was there before and always marked it out as a budget model. There are new graphics too, plus LED side marker lights. And I really like some of the little touches, such as rubber surrounds for the steady handle cutouts. Little touches perhaps, but they do give a premium feel. Under the skin, there's a new floor design with a GRP outer skin to improve longevity while a GRP roof should help to resist dents in extreme weather. And at the back, there's a new rear panel with fixing bars for the optional bike rack. Talking of options, like most sprites, this one is fitted with a diamond pack, which includes an Alco hitch stabiliser and a rather natty set of alloy wheels. It also features an optional panoramic sunroof, which adds to that premium feel. That sunroof, together with this large side window, make up for any loss of light from the switch to three front windows. I'm also delighted to see some new upholstery in here, this LED trim is pale grey and is really rather attractive. It's mated to new leaf pattern curtains which follow this year's trend. It's also rather nice to see a classic L-shaped lounge. It takes up less space than the modern parallel lounge arrangement and means the designers squeeze in a side dinette, a big fixed double bed and an end washroom into this van. At night, remove the table, pull out the slats and this area makes a large double bed supported by three reading lights and perfectly placed to make the most of the TV point on the adjacent sideboard. Although it's not massive by twin axle standards, this kitchen area is perfectly practical. I particularly like the fact that a screen has been fitted to avoid over-eager kids burning their hands on the hob as they rush into the van. It's also decently equipped. There's a separate oven and grill, a three burner gas hob, a good sized fridge, and thanks to the diamond pack again, a microwave on this van. There's a fair amount of worktop but it's easily extended by dropping down this colossal worktop flap. There are also practical features, such as a vent above and lift out carpets for the kitchen area so they can be cleaned easily. I would have liked some more targeted task lighting, however. There's just a single strip light and on a dim evening, it could be rather dull. On the opposite side, there's a comfortable dinette, which can be turned into either one or two berths at night, thanks to the fold away bunk behind. There are reading lights here too, plus a curtain to give a bit of privacy at night. In fact, privacy has been considered throughout this van. If you're in the master bedroom, for example, and don't fancy socialising with the rest of the family, you can close them off by popping back up that worktop flap and pulling across a screen. And it's a very nice bedroom too. It's a little bit dark if we have a quibble because there's no roof light above, but there's a massive double bed here and there are individual reading lights and shelves. Above you, there are two very large overhead lockers though only one of them has a shelf. And opposite, a massive wardrobe, plus of course, the huge underbed storage area, which can be accessed from outside the van. The decent sized washroom is further evidence of truly Tetris style packaging in this van. The shower aperture is a bit narrow for someone as bulky as me, but it is lined and for 2016 features a proper track for the bifold door, plus an Eco Camel Orbit shower head with on off button to save water without having to wait for it to warm up each time. Otherwise, this space is roomy where it needs to be, with a couple of useful cupboards, though with only a sole blown air vent for the Truma Combi heating, it might take a while to warm up in the depths of winter. The latest round of tweaks to the Sprite mean that it's increasingly starting to feel like a mid-market van than an entry-level offering. And it's no surprise that the family-friendly Quattro EW remains a stalwart of the range. We've yet to learn the prices for the 2016 Sprites, but as long as Swift can keep them competitive, it's hard to see its position as the group's top seller changing anytime soon.